Uh, my name is uh, David Buick. Um, I started golfing when I was um, five years old. That was when I got my first set. Uh, my mom wanted to get back into the game, and um, I was more than willing to give it a shot. I took a few lessons, started to like the game. I actually uh, took my first lessons at the Bridges, uh, which has actually been torn down. It was a Mounds View Public Golf Course. I took uh, lessons for there for about six years, and then I became a uh, patron member at Bunker Hills for about seven years. Uh, it turned out it was cheaper than daycare in the summers for us to just golf all day while mom and dad were at work. So then I ended up getting a pretty fluent swing there. And uh, it's, yeah, as the game's progressed, if those times came, uh, I suppose my game could probably uh, have used a little more concentration and <laughs> effort and uh, uh, ball striking consistency. But, but other than that, I mean, I could put the ball out there and I could put it in the hole. It just depends on uh, how, uh, how serious of a day it is, I suppose. Right now, I got a Titleist 983E driver, and then I also have a Fairway Wood that's the same, and then a, uh, let's see, 983H uh, as well. It's okay. an old Titleist. Um, they hold, they value for a long time, and I love the sweet spot on it. Sounds sounds good, and uh, I've had a long history with those clubs. Um, the irons I have, uh, tailor-made uh, RAC OSs. I got those actually when I was uh, ninth grade in high school. Uh, I made the golf team uh, for my ninth grade year, and I went to uh, the second swing, which uh, which was the old second swing in Roseville. I uh, traded in my old Tommy Armors for uh, the RACs. Just had much better feel, and I've hunted a lot of pins with them. I probably could move into something that's not as uh, perimeter weighted, but. I just can't seem to let those irons go, no matter what kind of deal they throw at me for new irons. It's just, it's stuck a while. I think I'll probably be going into uh, Ping S57s here in a little bit. Those things are, they're tools. They're not, not fun clubs. Those are business clubs. The Bettinardi uh, 330, and for, for a putter that has such, uh, such sex appeal, the thing is a weapon. It, 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 can, it goes in the hole almost every time. The wedges, I got a, uh, a tour issue 60 degree uh, CG14 that I got from a buddy who uh, caddies for the Hooters tour. So then I got a, uh, a 50 degree tour S wedge in that thing. God, if you if you get that thing just underneath just right, it'll roll up to any pin. It's it's a great wedge. To golf with Gandhi because I have a feeling that he'd probably throw one of the bigger tantrums that anyone would throw who was in. Uh, I guess the category of peaceful representation. <laughs> I have a feeling that that's a game that it, it's it's something that you almost have to be hardened in order to play bad golf. Mm -hmm. You can't just play bad golf. You'll throw throw yourself onto the fire. What I'd like to play with probably would have been Payne Stewart. He was one of the last golfers that I followed almost religiously. Um, Tiger Woods as well, but Payne Stewart especially, just because I think that. Um, he had something more to give to the game than just just the scores. He was he was a upstanding individual, and he, he had a level of class with absolutely everything that he did. I gotta say, uh, if I had the get up that he had, I'd probably be wearing it out there on the course too, with a smile on my face. But yeah, I definitely like to play around with him and just watch his game and watch how he composes himself on the course uh, in an extremely professional manner. It depends on the club. I think uh, I think a lot of people are doing things extremely well. Mm -hmm. I think Titleist has always done a very good job of uh, building a club that can put out um, top of the line performance. Um, however, now the more I look into clubs and I work with them, I I'm beginning to see uh, uh, the value, the long lasting value in ping, um, whether it just be the grooves on the irons and wedges, uh, or it's um, playability of, of their drivers and fairway woods at the such low spin and just it, it feels right. Whatever they're doing it just definitely feels right. I think I'm going to be moving into uh, more of a ping uh, a ping bag uh, as time goes on but you know as, as the game pro progresses so will the clubs. So. 
the thing that gets me about golf with the golf memory or golf story isn't exactly a specific time. It's more uh, just something that occurs every time. It's it's the breeze, the sun, the clouds, the sky, and the grass. Just when you realize that you're on the course, you have another two hours to go. You're with good company, and you just know that no matter how you play, you're going to end up with a smile on your face. That definitely helps me relax and play better golf. That's That's something that, you know, basically just describes my love for the game.